The Federal Land Development Authority intends to buy over FGV's palm oil mills following the termination of the land lease agreement. However, Tan Sri Abdul Wahid Omar, who heads the special task force set up to address Felder's issues, did not disclose how much Felder will be paying for the mills. He also kept mum on the compensation Felder would pay FGV for the early termination of the 99-year LLA. FGV had previously said that it could come to up to between 3.5 billion and 4.3 billion ringgit. The deal will leave FGV with roughly about 67,000 hectares of plantation land without any mills and a large cash pile. FGV has a total land bank of 417,147 hectares in Malaysia, of which 350,733 hectares or 84% are under the LLA. The group also has 22,578 hectares of land in Indonesia. Based on its websites, FGV has 68 mills nationwide, processing over 14 million metric tons of FFB annually. Two thirds of the FFB are sourced from Felder settlers and independent smallholders. Malaysian cinemas will temporarily halt their movie screenings and concessions operations starting November, according to the Malaysian Association of Film Exhibitors. According to MAFE, it will continue to monitor the situation and react accordingly as market conditions improve. MAFE says the closure is a cohesive decision undertaken by the industry in light of recent implementation of the conditional MCO, compounded by a lack of new movie releases. Ultimately, MAFE he says this hard decision was necessary for the long-term preservation of Malaysian cinemas. As such, Golden Screen Cinemas announced it will be shutting its cinemas nationwide for all of November. However, its CEO Komeli stressed that the cinema operator, also the largest in Malaysia, will use this time to reorganise, strategize, and innovate. At the same time, TGV Cinemas also announced the temporary closure of cinemas starting November 2nd. Over its various social media channels, TGV says it believes we can brave this storm together. Robinson Comalia will shutter its two department stores in Malaysia as the retail company is unable to continue operating due to weak consumer demand. The two stores are located at the Gardens Mall and the shops at Four Seasons Place. Concurrently, Robinson stores in neighbouring country Singapore will also undergo a similar liquidation process. According to a Bernama report, Robinson's senior GM Danny Lim said the changing consumer landscape poses a challenge for the company to succeed over the long term, particularly amid the COVID-19 pandemic. One major hurdle is the shift to online shopping. The department store operator also cited reports on retail, which found that sales in Malaysia posted a negative growth rate of 8.5% year-on-year in the first quarter of this year. Subject to confirmation, Robinson's liquidators are hoping the stores will remain open for the coming weeks to facilitate final sales for customers before they are shuttered. CME's external auditors have included an emphasis of matter, highlighting a material uncertainty related to going concern in the group's FY20 financial statements. Messrs. Creston John and Gunn pointed out that CME had said in its financial statements that the group had incurred accumulated losses of $69.35 million and that their current liabilities had exceeded current assets by $31.3 million, thereby indicating the existence of a material uncertainty. The auditors also zeroed in on the carrying amount of CME's properties and land development as a key audit matter, in particular over valuation methodologies. To this, CME said it has put in place several measures to strengthen the production team's performance, manage the cost of existing projects and monitor progress to ensure the projects are completed. It is also exploring new product ranges and business opportunities. Media Prima says Dato Ahmad Izam Omar, the CEO of its content creation subsidiary Primework Studios, is leaving the group on November 13th in pursuit of new challenges in the media and entertainment business. In a statement today, Media Prima said Ahmad Izam's contributions to the group include launching 8TV and numerous hit programs such as Malaysian Idol, as well as introducing Media Prima Radio Networks, which is now known as Ripple and Tonton. As PWS's CEO, he was the executive producer of Malaysia's number one 
one animation movie, Agent Ali the Movie, and Pulang, the country's first ever Netflix original. He will be succeeded by Media Prima Television Network CEO Datuk Karol Anwar Saleh, effective November 14th. <laughs>